Greetings, Grey Butcher. So today we're going to talk about the Ubermox Sentinel XS. Now this vehicle is in the coupes category and it'll set you back $60,000. Yep, that's it. $60,000. Now this vehicle is based on the BMW L7 and is one of the original vehicles that was put into the game and it is now back as a Howe Special Works variant of this car. Now you'd think that there'd be a bunch of stuff that you could do to this car, but you would be wrong because you are very limited in the categories that you can add customization options to and it's kind of a bummer because i really dig this car and it was one of those ones i was hoping that they really would do some stuff to it i mean you do get a couple of uh liveries and there's a couple of spoilers but that's really about it and it's kind of a shame because this is a really cool car now you can take this vehicle to the ls car meet and put a performance upgrade in it from Howe's special works and it will set you back $1.3 million. Yes, that's kind of expensive for a $60,000 car, but you only are paying $60,000 for the car, so it's not too bad. You get a couple of uh, liveries, like I said, two liveries, and one of them you have to unlock. You get a fifth level engine that you have to pay for. There's some suspension options here. It's, it just drops it down, ridiculous. Transmission, same thing, fifth level transmission. The turbo is where you're really getting in there, but it's still, is not as fast as some of the newer cars, but it has made this car more competitive. So if you liked this car before, you're probably really gonna like it now. Now performance-wise, it's a, a decent performing, overall good performing vehicle. It has a good top speed, a very good acceleration. The brakes are okay to decent. I wouldn't call mom or anything about them, but you know, they're okay and it has good traction. Now, since you upgraded from the house, the traction does kind of start to go down because it's much more of a powerful vehicle. And to see how fast it could go, we're gonna see how fast it can do a mile. Here we are, 33.1 seconds. Now, what I did with mine is I raised it back up to the street suspension because the house suspension was just it was causing way too many spins. You can see right here, it still wants to fishtail, even at the street suspension. It is a much more powerful car than it was before, which before it was a decent performing vehicle, and now I would say it's, it's a much better version of that original car. But it does take a little bit of time to get used to driving it now that it's much faster. But like I said, overall good performing vehicle, I dig it. It's $1.3 million for the upgrade for a $60,000 car, and this vehicle is one of those ones that I've always sold. So, I don't know. I don't think I'll keep this one. I think I'll move on to something else. Alright, well, this is Grey Witch. I hope this video helped you out, and I will see you next time. Peace!